talking to Matt here. We're at the Fanuc Open House event, and we're talking about how difficult it can be. It's not impossible, but sometimes it's quite difficult to measure a part on a sliding head machine. There's some issues in there. You've got coolant within as well, maybe temperature, different pressures. What are sometimes the negatives in terms of measuring a part on a slider? Uh, the negatives, when you're machining a component within the machine enclosure, it's always hard because you want to get the component off as quickly as possible. Yeah. Uh, so when you're measuring the component in there, you've got, you, your cycle time will increase yeah. because you're going to have a probe on the front, on the main spindle and the sub. So that will increase it. So it's usually best to take it and measure it outside the machine. Oh, well, that would make a lot of sense, Matt, because you have come up with an automated solution yeah. for yeah. that as well. That's the whole point of the video. So, Matt, what have we got over here then? So when the actual component comes off, it comes off complete. So the two things we've got to do is actually clean the components yep. uh, of any residue oil or swarf. So there's a dipping station in there to do that. And then the second station, what the robot will do is uh, there's an air knife in there, a little air curtain. They'll take any residue oils or cleaning fluid off it. And then the robot will pick it up and uh, take it to the Renishaw measuring device. Yeah, the equator. The equator, yeah. And uh, it will uh, measure it. And, and then that will talk to our system as well. So if, the, if it's slightly out of tolerance, it will talk and ch uh, to our machine and change the offsets. So it's all autonomous running, so you don't have to touch the machine, anything. Set the program, let it run. So you've got all autom autonomous, we'll get that right, running on this machine. And sometimes, sometimes you might have some that pass and then yes. some fail, don't they? And yes. they come off the front over here, don't they? And so as they'll come off, you've got a draw which tells you the pass or the failed product? Yeah, true. So when you set it up at night and let it run overnight, you should have a lot of components in the pass and probably one or two in the fail before, when they're changing the offsets. So yeah, you don't have to have the, the operator coming and checking every component. It should be all done and ready to go in the morning. All components passed. Job done. So autonomous running here with Star. Great, thank you. Thank you.